Okay, so let's talk about the last option, which is the employee retention credit. So this is a new credit against payroll taxes, and it's 50% of the wages paid to each employee up to a maximum of $10,000 of wages per person. And eligible wages means for businesses up to 100 employees, it's really any kind of compensation that you pay them. So to qualify, it's a little bit more, there is more qualification that you have to go through rather than, um, you know, when compared to the PPP. So for this, your business needs to fall into one or two categories. One, was it completely or or partially shut down by the by the local, state, or, or federal government? Or two, did it experience a, a significant decline in gross receipts? So first, was it completely or partially shut down? And I think what Congress is trying to do here is that if your business is, was forced to shut down for any coronavirus-related reason, for even if it was a single day and a quarter, you're probably qualifying for the entire quarter's wages. It's really not completely or partially shut down means, but for the most part, I think a lot of businesses were shut down, so they would would qualify under this clause. The experience a significant decline in gross gross receipts. So what this means, a, a significant decline in gross receipts, is defined as any given quarter during the year in which your um, business has no more than fifty percent of the gross receipts that it had in the same quarter the previous year. So as we if we take an example, if Company A had hundred thousand dollars in gross receipts in the second quarter of twenty nineteen and $49,000 of gross receipts in the second quarter of 2020, that would be a qualifying quarter. But if the company had $100,000 of gross receipts in the second quarter of 2019 and 51,000 of gross receipts in the second quarter of 2020, they would not qualify for the ERTC. Um, So you really have to do a a, a calculation and then you have to qualify or certify each quarter. So whereas like the EIDL and the PPP, they're one-time loans or grants, this is uh, the ERTC is there's no time limit on when it's when it's over but you do have to every quarter compare it to the previous quarter and see if you still do qualify to to get that so it potentially could be um could be a bigger benefit the ERTC but you know the the rules are a little bit more stringent on on qualifying for